Hi guys, so welcome to the ride. So in today's video, we're going to answer a sample problem for the engineering mathematics under the topic of uh yeah, under the topic of kinetics. So just a little recap. So kinetics is a branch of mechanics that is concerned not for the effect of forces on the motion of the bodies that is having mass. So laging nanjan yung present uh, presence ng velocity, chaka ng mass and so on and so forth. So Alika, solve natin yung problem. So, I will read the problem first. So, kuha lang ako ng tinta. Ayan. A bullet is fired from a, gun, uh, from a gun with a muscle velocity of 100 meters per second and penetrates a block of wood to a depth of 200 millimeters. So, if another bullet is fired from a same gun through a 100 millimeter board of the same kind of wood, determine the velocity of the bullet as it passes through the 100 millimeter, millimeter board, assuming the acceleration of the bullet as it penetrates the wood remains constant. So we have a two scenario here. So nag-fire daw sa per scenario, nag-fire daw si bullet ng initial velocity of 100 meters per second and tumagos ito sa block of wood na may kapal na 200 millimeters or almost 8 inches. No? So sa pangalawang scenario naman, sabi, if another bullet is fired from a same gun, through a 100 millimeter board of the same kind of wood, determine the velocity of the bullet as it passes through the 100 millimeter board. No, so ito naman binarel yung 100 millimeter na board or almost four inches of board. Tas tinatanong niya kung ano yung velocity nung pagkatagos nung 100 millimeter na kaboy. So we are going to have two scenarios here. Maybe sa first scenario may makuha kung sagot. Then I will apply to the second. So para makakuha ko ng sagot. So parang ganun lang naman lagi no yung mga gantong questions. So tara samahan niyo kong ah, sagutin ito. So sa scenario 1, lagay ko scenario 1. So number 1. So a bullet is fired from a gun with a velocity of uh, 100 meters per second. So halika, kunyari ito yung wood na may 400 mm a uh, 200 mm rather. Wala naman nung ano no. 200 mm. Okay, so inandito si bullet. So andito si bullet. Okay, so bullet yan. Ako nyari, bullet yan. So lagi, sabi natin point A to. And this is our point B. Okay, so since this is a kinetic problem, we may equate the all available or applicable energies at this side and on the other side. So, syempre, wala naman tayong potential energy dito kasi walang certain hat. So, we may put kinetic energy at point A. Of course, ano pa ba ibang energy? Of course, the work done. So, sabihin na natin from A to B is equal to kinetic energy at point B. So, ito yung energy mo no, sa point A. Ito yung energy mo sa point B. Okay, so parang wala nang work dyan kasi nga parang ito na yun, work A to B is equal to kinetic energy at B. So our assumption here, so unahin muna natin kinetic energy. We all know that is 1 half mb squared. So ang velocity nila natin una at point A is 2, uh, rather 100 meters per second. No? So lagay natin ulit, parang hindi mo 100 yun, parang 2 yun. No? So, 100 meters per second. So, our assumption here na kapag pinenetrate niya na yung block, syempre hihinto na siya doon. Okay? So, we all have the 1 half mb squared mba squared plus we all know that it is a force times distance, no? Kapag sinabing work. And we have the 1 half mba squared. So we all know na ang assumption natin dito ay titigil na yung bala dyan. No? Hindi na siya tatagos. No? Dito siya tumagos sa point A of course. Kasi nga nag-penetrate siya pero at point B, hinto na siya dyan or somewhere there. So our velocity or final velocity will become zero. So dito naman tayo sa, or dito na lang tayo sa kinetic energy and the work done. So uh, konting review lang. We have two types of... Uh, 
work, we have the positive work, and we have the negative work. So, masasabi lang natin positive work dan kung yung uh, yung force no na i-apply ay pinabilis niya yung velocity or bumilis yung velocity. So, parang ganito. No? Meron akong tinutulak dito na isang bagay. No? Tapos, in-applyan ko ng force at nag-push siya ng uh, faster velocity. So, pwede natin siyang tawagin positive work. So, pwede, meron naman na kapag in ng force at bumagal yung tinutulak ko, that was a negative work. So, in our scenario here, meron tayong 100 meters per second at point A at bumabagal tayo hanggang maging papuntang zero. So, this is a negative work. Tama. So, instead na positive yung sign ko rito, no, magiging negative yan. So, buburahin ko lang. Okay. Suburahin ko na rin ito kasi yung pangit. No? Pangit. Pangit yung sulat dito eh. Okay. So, yan. So, magiging minus ito. Kasi nga, it will become a negative work. No? Para imagine mo rin, yung pwersa dyan, imbis na pa ganun, magiging opposing. Giving you a negative work that. Okay? So, sulat natin ulit dito. VA is 100 meters per second. Okay? So, magiging... So, we all know that... Uh, ay, mag... Muna. So, meron tayong zero dito. So, ibig sabihin, we can equate one half m b a squared is equal to force times distance. So, sakto lang na naging negative ito kasi para pag tinapon mo sa kabila, pwede siyang maging equal. No? Hindi pareho silang positive. So, given yung v a squared, given yung distance na 200 mm, so, pwede nga hinahanap is mass or force. Siyempre, hinahanap natin dito is the force. Kaso wala tayong mass nung bullet. Tama ba? So pwede natin siyang in terms of M. O kaya we all know that M is equal to W over G. So it will become so dito natin lagay 1 half W over G which is acceleration due to gravity multiplied by uh, B A squared. So Ano na siya? Uh, burahin natin ulit. Oh, sige, tuloy-tuloy na natin. BA squared is equal to force times distance. So it will become 1 half W divided by 9.81 times 100 squared is equal to force. So it will become so it will become ano na, sa meters, 0.2 meters. So that will be 0.2 meters. So, your F ay magiging in terms of W. So, makikita mo mamaya sa second scenario bakit kailangan natin in terms W. So, 100 squared. So, calculator nyo guys. Divided by 2 times 9.81. Divided by 0.2. So, we have 2,548.42 W. So, that was our equation 1. Okay, so meron naman tayong second scenario. So, so ano yun? So meron tayong second scenario, sinahanap naman yung velocity pagkatagos ng kahoy na 100 mm. So ang assumption natin sa una, hindi na siya tumagos. No? Kasi huminto na siya doon. Pero ito naman, 100 mm, no? tinatanong yung velocity pagtapos tumagos. So kunyari, ito yung kahoy mo. Okay. So, kunyari, ito yung point A. Ay, gawin na natin itong point C kasi parehong A, B doon. So, this will become 100 mm. So, sabihin na natin 0.1 meters. So, meron tayong velocity A na 100. Ang tinatanong naman is ano yung velocity pagkatagos ng 100 mm board. So, what is your velocity at point C? Okay, so how are we going to do this? No? So, syempre, parehas dito na may binaril na kahoy, syempre, parehas na may negative work din yan sa gitna. So, this will become also 1 half, again, W over G na natin, MBA squared minus the force times distance again. 
Siyempre, nagbago na yung distance mo kasi numipis na yung kahoy. Siguro kaya tumagos. Kasi numipis is equal to meron tayong kinetic energy o wala sa point C. Of course, meron kasi nga tumagos. Sa scenario 1, 0 kasi huminto na siya doon. And on our second scenario, tumagos siya ng point C. That's why we have the uh, velocity here at points. So wala pa lang M dito. Yan. So yung magiging sagot natin si velocity C, guys, expect natin na mas mababa si velocity A. Why? Because we apply a negative work done here. Ibig sabihin kasi ng negative work done, again, pina, uh, bumabagal yung velocity. No? If force is applied to the direct, to the line or direction of the movement and it causes the object to uh, become slower, so that what you call negative work done. No? So ayan, medyo occupied na naman tayo ulit. So I'm going to erase Ayan scenario 1. No? Basta ang matra ay yung F na equation 1 natin dyan. F is equal to 2,548.42. Okay? Ayan, ayan. Ayan. So, take down notes, guys. Kasi may kasabihan tayo na note takers are history maker. So, kailangan talaga yan. Lalo lang sa engineering subject, no? Na laging kailangan mag-take down notes ka. So, mahirap din pala magbura sa PowerPoint, no? O sa gantong platform. Para ka rin nagbubura ng blackboard, no? So, ayan. So, meron tayo equation 1 dito. So, this will become our next equation for our second scenario. So, Siyempre, wala tayong W. So, 1 half W is equal to G 9.81. So, 100 squared. So, minus force times distance. Ang force natin is 2,548.42 W times natin ang 0.1. Kasi nga, numipis. Is equal to 1 half W divided by 9.81 bc squared. There you have it. We're going to have our vc in meters per second kasi meters per second lahat. And our w here is kasi meters to. No? So, ayan. Makikita natin dito yung kahalagahan ng in terms of w is equation 1. Kasi dito, naka in terms of w ka rin. So, all w will be cancelled. Ayan. So, ayan. Hanapin na natin si bc. So, unahin mo natin si 100 squared. Divided by 2, divided by 9.81, minus 2,548.42 times 0.1. Yung sagot nun, times mo ng 2, times mo ng 9.81, and get the square, and there you have it. So we have the 70.71 meters per second. Okay. So yun yung sagot natin sa hinahanap na velocity. Determine the velocity of the bullet as it passes through the 100 nm bolt. And as it passes, yan yung point C dito. And there we have it. Meron tayong 70.71 meters per second. But, guys, hindi ito natatapos dyan. So we have also a, or an alternative solution. So, since this problem is a horizontal motion, or constant acceleration problem, kagaya nga sinabi ka din dito, assuming the acceleration of the bullet will remain constant. So, meron pa tayong mga pwedeng applicable na formulas na gamitin. So, magbubura lang ako, guys. So, pwede natin yan. Yan. So, panibago naman tayo. Okay. So, we all know, guys, that uh, meron tayong formula sa horizontal motion na Bf squared is equal to Bo squared plus 2As. So kanina at scenario 1, we assume that the final velocity, kasi nga in natin hindi siya tumagos, ito yung point A mo, ito yung point B mo. So our BB here is 0. So ito siya, Bf, kunyari ito yung BB, squared is equal to VA squared plus 2AS. So our S here is uh, 0.2 
meters or 200 mm or 8 inches. So our assumption earlier is that to miggle it, so it's a bit zero velocity. Now, zero is equal to 100 squared. So magiging plus to AS. So 0.2. So our acceleration will become negative. So our assumption earlier is correct na may opposing force na tumama or na work dun, dun sa bala kasi nga bumagal siya. And that defines the negative work done. So 100 squared divided by 2 divided by 0.2. So we have negative 25,000 meters per second squared. So that was a huge deceleration. Okay. So how are we going to get naman yung velocity for the second scenario? So the same uh, formula pa rin. We have the BC squared is equal to B A squared plus 2AS. So we assume kanina na ang letter A ito and point C ito. No, meron ka dito ang velocity A na 100. And we assume na tumagos ito ng point C kasi nga ang tanong is as it passes through. No, so we are looking for the velocity at C. So velocity at C squared is equal to 100 squared minus na no kasi minus na yun. So 2 times 25,000. And we all know that the thickness of this board is 0 0.1 or 100 mm. Kaya siya tumagos na. So 0 0.1. So our velocity C is equal to 100 squared minus 2 times 25,000 times 0.1. And square root mo yun. Yan. Meron tayong 70.71 meters per second. Okay. So ayun guys, uh, in this kinetic problem, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang, alter, uh, dalawang solution. No? Unang-una, yung using the work energy theorem. No? And itong pangalawa is using the horizontal motion formula. So, ayan, parehas ng sagot. Ibig sabihin, tama ka guys. Uh, tama kayo guys no? sa quiz o kaya sa board exam. So, Yun lang guys, salamat sa pagsama at sa pagsagot ng problem na ito. Kung may mga tanong, feel free to PM us. So let us review, let us uh, learn, let us derive. So see you on our next videos. Bye-bye.